Over the past centuries, people have found ever more effective ways of getting from A to B. In the past, long distances had to be covered on horseback or even on foot, but nowadays we have cars, planes, trains, and ultra-modern ships at our disposal. So while we on our blue home planet have already succeeded in developing ever faster and more efficient means of transportation, the question is how the field of manned space travel will develop in this respect. As is well known, it still takes many months or even years before a space probe launched from Earth reaches its galactic destination. But what will this venture look like in the future? If we push the thought experiment of ever new cosmic speed records to the extreme, an exciting question arises. Will there be spaceships one day that travel at the speed of light? Together with you, we would like to take a closer look at this exciting topic today. Want to learn more about about the exciting discoveries and groundbreaking findings in space on a regular basis? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos again in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you show us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. Travel at the speed of light What is still an unachieved model in practice has long been a standard in the science fiction world. As soon as Han Solo and company press the right buttons in their spaceships, they hurtle through space at many times the speed of light and reach distant galaxies within moments. A look at reality, however, shows that we are still a long way from achieving such speed milestones. If we were to set out on a journey to our neighbor Alpha Centauri, 4.34 light years away, with our current propulsion technology, the outward flight alone would take 70,000 years. Regardless of the fact that the execution of such an undertaking would devour innumerable resources and generations, and would be at present simply impossible, a long space stay for the respective astronauts is also always associated with high health risks. The longer a person stays in space, the higher the radiation exposure. If one day we nevertheless succeed in breaking through the legendary speed of light barrier, this would mark the beginning of a new era in space research. After all, this would make it possible to get a close-up look at those celestial bodies that currently elude our direct gaze. But is it at all possible that a spacecraft built by human hands could travel as fast, or even faster than light? According to Albert Einstein's world-famous theory of relativity, there is a fixed speed limit in the infinite expanse of the universe that cannot be broken, the speed of light. As the name of this unit of measurement suggests, this value refers to the speed that light rays reach within a vacuum. What sounds quite abstract in the definition becomes even more impressive when we take a look at the corresponding values. According to this, the speed of light amounts to an incredible 180,000 miles per second. What at first undoubtedly seems extremely impressive takes on a central role within astronomical research. Thus. The speed of light is a fundamental quantity in the world of science, which experts use to determine the exact distances between objects in the universe. The unit of measurement of the light year has been established in the ranks of experts for many decades. This unit, which indicates the distance light travels in a vacuum within one year, amounts to about 6 trillion miles. While we quickly fall in awe of these values, a central problem arises as soon as we want to transfer the world of the speed of light to space travel. Only electromagnetic radiation and massless particles can reach such a speed. The Problem of the Speed of Light but why is this so? In order to clarify this question, it's once again worth taking a look at Einstein's theory of relativity. According to this theory, the mass of a body is always directly related to the speed at which it moves through space. Whether it's a huge jet plane or a vanishingly small elementary particle is irrelevant. Put simply, this means that the mass of an object becomes larger and larger the more its own speed increases. Consequently, the energy expenditure rises into ever more dizzying heights in order to drive the acceleration of the body steadily forward. If one wanted to bring a solid structure to light speed, the corresponding energy demand would converge in the end towards infinity. It would therefore need infinitely more energy 
to reach the legendary speed of light. However, it's impossible in practice to provide the infinite energy required for this. Does this mean that the efforts to accelerate spaceships to the speed of light one day have already come to an abrupt end? If one considers the statements of some experts, then the warp speed familiar from the science fiction world could in the future enter into reality. Time Dilation Astrophysicist Eric Lentz was launched some months ago into the scientific headlines when he published a theory in the technical periodical Classical and Quantum Gravity, according to which even journeys with superluminal speed are theoretically possible. The key to this cosmic speed milestone would not lie in the development of a new energy source, but in the distortion of space-time. If a spaceship were to travel at close to the speed of light, the distances in the direction of motion would continue to shrink due to the relativistic length contraction. Let's transfer this example to the flight to Alpha Centauri mentioned at the beginning. For simplicity, we round the distance between the Earth and our neighboring star to four light years. The actual flight time with approximate speed of light for the astronaut on board would now no longer last four years, but only a few months or weeks. However, this effect, which is called relativistic time dilation comes with a huge catch. Because seen from the outside, the spaceship would by no means move faster than light. In fact, in reality, four years still pass. If the astronaut had an identical twin on Earth, the twin would have aged eight years in the time of the outward and return flight, while the astronaut would have become only a few months older. In order to circumvent this paradox, the Mexican physicist Miguel Alcuberi presented a surprising approach to a solution back in the 1990s. This was based on the distortion of space-time, which shortens the space in front of the spaceship and expands it behind the vessel. Within this induced distortion, the spaceship would practically not move time dilation would be bypassed. The actual travel distance would be shortened arbitrarily in this way. The problem? Such a propulsion could only be realized with a hypothetical form of matter, which does not yet exist. To bring the problem of faster-than-light travel closer to real technology, Eric Lentz presented his colleagues with a new form of space-time distortion. This involves a particular type of standing waves called solitons. These move constantly, but without changing their shape. Within this model, time would be congruent with time outside the distorted space, which would also circumvent the problem of time dilation. However, the amount of energy required to do this would far outseed our current capacities. In fact, a spacecraft going to Alpha Centauri in this way would require a hundred times the mass of Jupiter. Lentz, on the other hand, hopes that the current energy requirements can be reduced considerably in the course of further research projects. Warp Speed Another research paper published this spring also presented a groundbreaking physical model for a so-called warp drive. Again, the curvature of space-time is said to enable faster-than-light travel, while the compatibility of this propulsion mechanism with the general theory of relativity has long been hotly debated. The researchers mentioned above now want to prove that a warp drive can be designed, at least theoretically, on the basis of the known laws of physics. The models of the scientists are based on the warp drive that the physicist Miguel Alcuberi presented more than 20 years ago. Thus, the limitation that traveling at the speed of light involves an infinitely high energy input could be circumvented by using space-time bubbles. Again, the corresponding bubble would travel superluminal, or in other words, faster than light, while time would run slower inside. Alternative Propulsion Technologies as exciting as the models of these revolutionary propulsion mechanics sound, it will still take many years before they are possibly realized one day. Physicist Philip Lubin and his team are constantly looking for new ways to improve the propulsion technologies of spaceships in the future. According to the researcher, the key to accelerating space travel in the near future lies in photon propulsion. Conventional rockets generate their thrust by burning fuel and consequently emitting gases that ensure acceleration. A photon drive takes a completely different approach. Here, the spacecraft would be equipped with a huge sail. Several powerful lasers would be aimed at the sail from Earth, transmitting a pulse to the sail structure, accelerating the spacecraft even further in this way. Lightweight, unmanned probes could reach about 25% of the speed of light this way. This corresponds to a speed of about 45,000 miles per second. Large manned spacecraft 
would still be able to reach a speed of 600 miles per second. With this propulsion technology, the flight time to Alpha Centauri would be about 20 years. What are your thoughts on today's video? We're looking forward to your comments. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.